Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing object oriented programming in Python. Previous video was about like that was introduction to OOP. What is an OOP and why we need OOP that we have discussed in previous video because there are some drawbacks in the procedure oriented programming approach, POP approach. That is why we, we are using OOP, right? And to some what we have discussed like what is a class and what is an object in the previous video. So please watch out that video first and then come to this video, then you will get it better, right? Now more about classes and objects we will be discussing in this video and how to create your own class, the syntax of creating class and object. Why basically we need a class? That thing we will discuss in this video, right? So if you remember the previous video then we have come to this thing, like we have taken an example of a YouTube channel, right? So, how you can simplify the relationship and how you can, you can, you know, reduce the complexity of a larger project with the help of this paradigm, with the help of this approach and that is object oriented programming. In the previous video, we have concluded that like uh, the POP approach is not able to handle real world project. We cannot model real world project or real world problems using POP approach. POP approach cannot handle large project, very large project, you know, that is why at industries and companies, the COOP approach is being used while implementing the projects, right? So now we are creating like a virtual YouTube channel, right? So like I was the manager and I have instructor, I have had instructor, then I have editor and social media marketer to handle their respective job, right? Now. I have hired like two instructor, Jenny and Jia to teach different different subject, right? So these were objects and the instructor was class. So it was just a blueprint to create objects, right? So we know like object oriented programming is used to model real world problems, real world objects, right? So every object is having some information and will do something like I am an object. So I'll have some information like name, phone number, address and I'll do something, maybe I'm teaching, right? So what an object have that we can model with the help of attributes and or you can say variables and what I do or what an object do that we can model with the help of functions or methods in programming using OOP approach, right? Here like instructor is having this thing, this information, name, address and has book, has camera, has laptop and all and what the instructor, instructor will do, teach and prepare quiz. So these are methods or functions. See we, do, we don't call these simple variables and functions, we call these attributes and methods. Why so? Because these are associated, these are attached with the instructor. Like name is equal to Jenny address, I have some address. So these name and address are attached to me. These are not free floating variables. So these are attributes. That is why we call these attributes. And the functions like I teach, I prepare quiz. These are also attached to me if I am an object, right? So that is why they are known as methods, not just simple functions that are free floating in your program. No, right? That is why these are known as attributes and methods, right? Now see, Everything in Python is an object. In the previous video, I have, uh, you know, given you one example also. Simply if I write x is equal to 1 and if I print type of this x, then what you will get? Class int. So this x is an object of class int. The class is inbuilt class. If I want to find out like x in x, I am having hello. So this is the string. So in this, at this time, it will give class as str. So this is string, this hello or this x is an object of class str. Same with function. In the previous video, I have shown you this thing practically, right? So we have inbuilt classes in Python and we use the object. So objects are more important. Everything we do with the help of objects, right? because this x is an object, x1, this is an object. If you create a function, that is also an object, right? So objects are very important. We do everything with the help of objects in our Python, Python programming, right? 
then if objects are important then why we need classes right let's take let's understand this thing with the help of this example see suppose uh, like you have an idli maker right so this is an idli maker and you put that better or that stuff here in this idli maker and your idli will be ready in next maybe i don't know the recipe proper maybe 10 to 15 minutes within 10 to 15 minutes right so the idli you are having these are actual objects and the idli maker what you have that is just a design to make to prepare idlis right and if you don't have this design then i think it would not be easy for you to prepare idli maybe you can prepare with the help of some other method i don't know but if you have this idli maker then it is very easy for you guys to prepare many idlis just in just you know few maybe hours or few minutes right so this idli maker is going to make your thing to make your you know process of making idli is very smooth and simple and quick right so it is a design same if you relate this thing with the help of example so class is just a design or blueprint so obviously to create object to create idli we need idli maker so we need a class to create object we need a class that is why classes are important same like if you have any car like maybe Creta. So there are, let's suppose, 1 million Creta in India, right? I don't know the number, but just I'm just supposing this thing. So there is a model there, there is a prototype, there is a design of that car, Creta. And using that design, they are creating multiple Kretas in less amount of time. So that design is important, that blueprint is important. Same like, third example we can take like, a map of a house or a sketch of a house right using that sketch we can create house houses many houses so that house you create an object the real thing that is an object and that map is just a class or a blueprint but using that blueprint you can create multiple house multiple houses many houses right and if you don't have that map then definitely you can build or you can construct a house but if you have map then it would be easy and you can know simple to build a house to construct a house because there are many people working there and one who know like what is the map exact planning like what to do next then he or she can easily guide the contractor or anyone he can he or she can easily guide to the members what to do next if you don't have map then it would be not that much easy to communicate so relationship would be tough right so now i hope you got the idea of class and object and why we need class class is also important right so we can say this class is just a blueprint or a design to create object an object or you can say instance we can also say object is an instance of that class or instance of a class right or we can say class is a user defined data type user defined type why I am saying so? Because see, when you take x is equal to 1, the type of x is int. When I say x is equal to hello, then the type of this is, it is of class str, it is of class int. So these classes are inbuilt classes, right? Like int, str or many classes we have, boolean also we have, float, double, right? So if you want a variable something like this, so the type of this is already defined like int. But if I want like uh, uh, if uh, like Jenny, an instructor. So this would be of I like this is not any type like I'm not providing it as a string but Jenny is like an object it is having some information like me as an actual person real person some information I'm having some task I do right so for this we have to define our own type right so that we can define with the help of like class keyword and whatever class name you give right 
so class simply we can say it is a user defined data type also okay this thing class is a user user defined data type that you will get it at the end of this video don't worry if you are not getting this right so syntax of creating a class how to create your own class just class keyword and class name and column and here obviously the data what you want to write here that attribute and the methods and that also we'll see right the class name is in pascal case it means the uh, you know first letter of each word is capital letter like class the name n like our name jayanti khatri so j is capital k is capital like this so we use this uh, like no you can say the what i should say this i'm not i'm not getting the exact word <laughs> it's okay so this is you can say some kind of rule you have to use like pascal case to write down a class name like for for uh, creating variable name we simply use like underscore like maybe i don't know like user underscore name if a variable then we use underscore this is a snake case right camel case is also there in camel case first uh, first is what first is uh, letter is small and for each other words the first letter is capital this is the only difference between pascal and camel case right so this is how you write class class name or if you write like something like this first is small this is also small that also will be fine it will not give you any error but that is some kind of you know rule or you can say this kind of thing right just to differentiate between a class name a function name or a variable name something like this right so like this we write class name fine this is the syntax simple and here you will write whatever you want to like attribute methods and all that also we'll see now how to create object if from this if suppose class name is instructor if i want to create object of this class then maybe i am like writing instructor underscore one is equal to just the object name then class name class name is instructor but this is not it this you need to pass the these brackets down brackets so this is somewhat like constructor and now what is constructor that also we'll see but this is simple syntax of creating an object let's see this practically okay so let's create a new file op concepts classes dot py so how to create your own class just class keyword and class name so i am creating a class instructor so camel uh, sorry pascal pascal cases first is capital and if the next if you want to write like information i n f o info then i would be again capital so this is pascal case every letter of the word would be capital so just instructor and then call right now okay i am not passing anything in class no attribute no method so maybe you think this is an empty class right and i want to create object of this class so instructor 1 the name of the object is instructor 1 and then equal to the name of the class instructor and just these brackets but see now can you see this red line here so this is an error like this indent expected so same with function i think you have seen if you create function then you cannot Uh, you know uh, uh, leave that function empty you have to write down something but i'm not i don't want like I, i i don't know how what to write in this class right now i don't know the syntax how to write attribute and methods so i have told you one statement we have pass so that you can say like just write down here pass so maybe further i'll do something here but right now i don't know what to do here so just write down there pass so now see there is no error right so this is how you can create your class and this is how you can create an object so if you run this then there would be no error but no output you will get obviously
Now, if you want to find out the type of this object, type of the object, instructor 1, because the name of the object is instructor 1, right? This is the name of the object we have created. So, what should be the type of this object? Let's run this. See, the type is class is, just focus on the class instructor, right? Although we have underscore underscore main underscore underscore so that this thing I will be talking in later videos right but now you have to focus only on this name instructor right so now we have created our own type our own data type that is why I have told you that line like class is a user defined data type as well. now as many object as we want we can create from this class from this type instructor one two three or many objects many instructors right but all would be of this type class instructor so this is a user defined data type that actually acts as a blueprint to create objects right and object is just an instance of a class right now one assignment for you is you have to create a class and the class name would be car design car design this would be the name of the class right and you have to create two object of that class right so this is your assignment you can write on that thing in comment section so now I hope you got what is a class, what is an object, what is object oriented programming, how to create your class, how to create an object, right? If you are not getting this, if you are still getting like 50%, then it's fine. You know, slowly you will get everything in later videos, right? Now in the next video, we will see like how to add attribute to your class. And there is a, a method like init. That also we will see in next video like underscore underscore in it underscore underscore then in bracket cell so what is this method that also we'll see in next video what is constructor this kind of concept right so i'll see you now in the next video till then bye bye take care